It's only when I was 30 that I got diagnosed with um, anxiety, with generalised anxiety disorder, and it wasn't until then that I found out that it is common for people who have anxiety to have a fear of losing control of their bladder or bowels. Yeah, right. And I would never, ever, ever have spoken about it, ever, 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 because it is... It's so humiliating when you have to make up lies about why you're going to the toilet. Like, oh, I, I think yeah. I've left my trousers in there. Oh. You're like, mate, you're wearing them. You're it, like, oh, yeah. I'll check anyway, <laughs> just in case I left another pair in there. Is there a particular time where I guess, because I think a lot of people, I think it's getting lighter and everybody's starting to talk about it a little bit more. Even the people that would judge it mm. in the past are, are realising they probably have it too. It's everywhere. Um, but has there been a particular incident where you've actually pissed yourself laughing at your anxiety? Like you've kind of come out on the flip side? Um. Do you mean metaphorically? Yes. Or yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, I, I've got, basically I got some acceptance around it and then I gave myself a little a little phrase that I was allowed to say. So what, how it used to play out is before shows, before gigs, I would compulsively go to the toilet, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. I'd go to the toilet, I'd walk out of the cubicle and then I'd walk back into the toilet. Even though there was nothing more to go. It's just that I was just like, I feeling. don't think it would calm you. What yeah. if I haven't yeah. got yeah. it all out? Yeah. And so once I started getting um, help for it, and then I'd, st- I'd still be doing this, I used to say to myself, you're doing the best you can with the tools you have. <laughs> <laughs> Directly from my therapist. Oh my it was like it was the only thing, and I had to stop because before I got therapy, it was like, "Oh my god, you're crazy!" And this is mental, and people yeah. know, and they're watching you. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with you? There's a camera in the toilet. There's definitely a camera in the toilet. <laughs> you are part of Border Force, and um, uh, and so I and th- so I just had to change the way that I spoke to myself. It's funny. I remember a time when I was in year seven, and now luckily it's become the big joke of my, my girlfriends and I'm okay with it but uh we were reading a Roald Dahl book about um I don't know which particular book it was but the story was very graphic details of how he got his agnoids out as a young boy and the olden days were that you they actually take them out through your nostrils with old tools I think that was boy wasn't it yeah okay must have been yeah 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 Yeah. so uh you can just imagine quiet year seven already so impressionable trying to make friends everything's full on and don't do anything different and there's this scary very kind of teacher reading these big words and you're meant to be silent. That's the other thing that used to freak me out. Issues with authority, but that's another day. <laughs> um, and so it would be silent. And then she's talking about, and there would be blood. And then there was a bit of this. And I'd had to scrape it off the top of my nose. And I'm starting to go a bit weak at the knees. And then that's it. I go, okay, I'm going to faint. And so I'm like, then that's when my anxiety kicks in. It goes, you're going to faint, you're going to faint, you're going to faint. Okay, here it's And so I put my hand up, go to the toilet. Say, um, excuse me, miss, can I please yeah. go to the toilet? I walk up, this blood's running from my face. Walk, walk, walk. And the irony was, walked straight into the door and hit my nose. Oh, no. And the agnoids, like, hello. Did like, you get a universe. nosebleed? Uh, yeah. And so Her straight to the floor. Her agnoids right out. I passed out, completely passed out, mm. and then ended up having a nosebleed. And the, we just pissed ourselves laughing at it till this day because it's the most I fainted at the thought of an injured nose and then went and freaking injured my nose it's just messed up it's the self-fulfilling prophecy but it's ridiculous